An interesting African proverb says that by crawling, a child learns to stand. This crawling journey towards standing can sometimes be intimidating because there are times you fall, there are times when you stand, there are times when it's difficult. This may be the case for the journey of a company secretary. Hi, my name is Jimmy Walabiechi and you're welcome to Corporate Governance Africa where we seek to promote good governance through film. In this video, I interview Kandi Wekesa Okoboy, a leading governance professional from Uganda. I interview her about her first experience as a company secretary. I also asked her about why she chose to be a company secretary. In the interview, she speaks about how sometimes it was pretty intimidating at the beginning. Intimidating, completely intimidating. And I think many people can relate to this. Uh, intimidating because you want to be more than just a record keeper, but you don't know how to navigate that. You don't know how to get to that place. Um, also intimidating because um, many of these boards until recently were not very diverse. So many times the company secretary um, was, at least in my time, was the only female in the room, you know? And, and that, was, that was difficult to manage. Um, and because of the view of, the historic view of the role of the CS, you found yourself having to do so many non-professional um, non or non-CS um, items just to manage the sanity of, of the meeting. You know, so so you're 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 running around trying to do so many things. You're taking the record, and in those days, you know, there were no recorders, or you know, you didn't have access to a laptop, and you're typing your minutes uh, as as people go. So you were actually handwriting uh, the notes in some form of shorthand that you formulated for yourself. But at the same time, managing the coffee desk and the additional stationery that needs to come in and um, you know, someone who is supposed to come into the boardroom and we are running late and you're, you know, sending notes and messages to the kitchen to make sure that the lunch has been delivered. I mean, it, and, and, and the problem with that is that you actually also look scattered. Yeah. So, so you imagine trying to build trust in an environment where half, half of, half of the time you're writing, half the time you're running to the door. I mean, I must tell you, it, it, yeah, it took quite some time to gain trust and to make people understand that this person is actually doing something meaningful, yeah? Because you just look like a headless chicken. But that was our first experience, you know, and, and not, not a lot of sympathy for what you have to do, you know? You were expected to just be on top of everything, whether it was the minute writing or the lunch or the tea break or the, you know, or guiding other professionals who need to come in or managing the program for the day or managing the gifts for the directors at the end of the session. Or, yeah, you were supposed to be on top of it all. Nothing can fall, nothing can drop. You cannot have excuses for anything. So yes, interesting times. I'm sure there are many people who can tell the same story. I don't think I decided. <laughs> I don't think it was a conscious decision. I think it just came with the legal territory, you know. As I said, you know, in you know, for the, the conventional wisdom was if you are the lawyer of the institution, then you do CS work. So that's exactly how I became CS. It wasn't, it wasn't a deliberate choice. There was definitely a deliberate choice to be a legal professional in the institutions that I worked for, and it just came with this added responsibility. That's how it happened. From Candy's experience, I learned that there may be elements of intimidation or difficulty or challenges when you're starting out in the governance profession or when you are contributing to the governance process of your organization in whatever capacity. However, one ought to persevere and make their contribution. For if you persevere, indeed your organization will benefit from your input. And do you ever feel intimidated as you're starting out in your role as a governance professional? Or maybe you've been in the profession for a long time. It's not a time to quit, it's a time to persevere. Just like Candy persevered and made her contribution. You have what it takes and you have a 
something to bring to the table. Keep up the good fight. Keep it up. <laughs>